So today we are going to look at multiplying binomials and squared binomials. Oh my goodness, there we go. Sorry about that. All right, so we're going to take three ways to multiply this binomial times this binomial. We're either going to do it the horizontal distributive method, which is using FOIL, or we're going to use the vertical method or a Punnett square. So we're going to use this 3x plus 5 times 2x minus 3 all three times. So we should get the same answer all three times. So let's start with, um, we'll do FOIL first. So 3x plus 5 times 2x minus 3. So FOIL just means F is for first, O is for outer, I inner, and L last. So your first terms are the first terms in the binomial. So we're going to take the 3x times the 2x. The outer terms are the outside terms in the binomial. So we're going to multiply the 3x to the negative 3. The inner means the inside terms inside the binomial, so 5 times 2x. And then last are the last terms in each binomial, so the 5 and the negative 3. So essentially, FOIL is just a double distribution. So I'm going to take this 3x, which is our first term, and multiply it to the first term, which is our FOIL, our F in FOIL. So 3x times 2x, 3 times 2 is 6, and remember x times x is x squared. Then we are going to do outer, so it's really the 3x times this negative 3, so there's that double distribution. So a 3 times a negative 3 is a negative 9. And then x times nothing else, you're just going to tack on that x. Next is our inner, so we're going to take our inner term here, which is our positive 5, and we're going to multiply it to the other inner term here, which is 2x. So 5 times 2 is 10, then times an x is just 10x. Then we're going to distribute this 5 for the last to the negative 3. So we've got 5 times the negative 3 is negative 15. I apologize if my handwriting is terrible, but you should see how I have to write on here. It's just awful. All right, so then we have to combine like terms. The only like terms out of these four terms is the negative 9x and the 10x. Why? Because they have the same variables raised the same exponent. So you end up with a 6x squared, a negative 9 and a positive 10, subtract and keep the sign of the larger. You get a positive 1x, you can just write an x, and then minus 15. And so there is your answer for foiling. Well, then what does vertical distribution look like? So we're going to set up these binomials vertically to each other. So we're going to have 3x plus 5, and then right below that, a 2x minus the 3, and then we're going to use a multiplication bar. So a vertical distribution is just like old-fashioned multiplication. If you had 12 times 13, when you're in elementary school, you were taught to take this lower right term and multiply it to the 2 and to the 1. So 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3. Then you had to take and multiply the next term, which in this case is the 1, and you're going to multiply it to the 2 and to the 1. So 1 times 2 is 2, drop down to a new row, line up, and then 1 times 1 is 1. And then you just drew your line, and then you just added straight down. So 6 plus nothing is 6. 3 plus 2 is 5. And 0 plus 1 is 1. Whoops, I have a little, a little messed up there, sorry. So 1. All right, so we're going to do the same thing with multiplying vertically. So this time, and it's just a double distribution, just like foiling was. We're going to take this negative 3, and we're going to multiply it to the 5. So negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. And they're going to multiply it 
to the 3x. So you have to take and multiply this to everything up here. So we get um, negative 3 times the 3x. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 times that x. So you get negative 9x. Then we're going to do a second distribution. So we're going to take the 2x and now multiply it to everything. So you have to multiply it all the way through. So this 2x times the 5, 2 times 5 is 10x. This is the like term to 10x. So we're going to drop down and do another row just like we did here. But we're going to put our 10x underneath this like term. So always line up like terms. So it's a positive 10x, so I put a plus 10x. And then 2 times 3 is 6, and x times x is x squared. So there is no like term here to an x squared. Nothing has an x squared. So you have to create its own column over here. So you get a 6x squared like this. And then we are going to draw our line and just add down. So negative 15 plus nothing is negative 15. And then negative 9 plus 10 is a positive 1. So plus 1x. You can put the 1 in there if you want to. And then nothing plus 6x squared is 6x squared. So notice that we have the same answer here as we had over here. And in fact, if you look at all four of these terms here, you can see that you have all four of those terms here. It's just a different way of doing it. This is horizontally, double distribution, double distribution. This is vertically, still doing a distribution here and multiplying, distribu distributing there. Then this last one I actually kind of like as well is the Punnett square. And it's similar to what you may have had in science class. We're going to take this binomial and put one term here and one term here, and the next binomial and put one term here and one term here. The sign has to stay of the term. So the 3x plus 5, you're going to put 3x above one box, and then the positive 5 above the other box. For the 2x minus 3, you're going to put the 2x here next to this box, but then the minus 3 down there. And so now all you do is look to see this square has a 2x and a 3x. So you're just finding the area of the square. So 2x times 3x is our 6x squared. And then 2x times 5, because this side is 2x, right? So this goes to here and this goes to here. So 2x times 5 is 10x. Then we're going to multiply this side to this side, so negative 3 to the 3x, because 3x is up here, so 3x goes to here, negative 3 to here. So negative 3 times 3x gives you negative 9x. And then for this last square, we get a negative 3 here and a positive 5 here. So the negative 3 times that positive 5 gives us negative 15. And then all you have to do is look at the box and decide what are like terms. So out of these four terms, which are the same four that we had here and here, these are the only two that have a variable raised to the same power. So they're both x's. So these become our like terms. And then we'll just combine them as we write out our trinomial. So the 6x squared doesn't have anything to combine with. The 10x and the negative 9x add to give you a positive 1x. And then the negative 15 has nothing to combine with. So it just comes down as a negative 15. And so as you can see, no matter which method you use, we got the same answer for all three. So then let's look at the next slide. So on this next slide, I want you to multiply all of these out. There are three different problems, so you're going to get three different answers. And I want you to use whichever method you prefer, but you need to use one of each of those three methods. So you need to use the FOIL method maybe here, Punnett square here, and the vertical method here, or just switch it up. I just want you to try one each of those three methods. So pause the video at this point, do your three problems, and then come back and uh, start the video again. Okay, so I'm going to decide to do it in the same order that um, we did the, the explanation. So for this first one, I'm going to do horizontally. So I'm going to take my x here, 
whoops, I wanted to, I wanted it to be red. I don't know why it did not switch. There it goes. I'm going to take the x and multiply it here and here, right? So x times negative 6 is, I totally did that wrong. Let me erase that. This is what happens when you put the wrong arrow in the wrong spot. Clearly, I'm in the wrong one. So let's try this again. Okay, so my x is going to go to this x and this 7. I knew something was off. So x times x is x squared. And then x times 7 is a positive 7x. So that's your first and outer. Then we're going to do our inner. So I'm going to take this negative 6. And does not want to change colors. So negative 6 is going to get multiplied to the x and to the 7 again. So there's your double, double distribution. So negative 6 times an x is a negative 6x. I like to line up like terms right now, even when I'm doing the horizontal one. So that's going to line up with the 7x. And then negative 6 times 7 is a negative 42. Then draw your line and just add down. So right here we've got x squared plus nothing is x squared. Positive 7 and negative 6 subtract and keep the sign of the larger. So we get a positive 1x and then negative 42. So there you go. So pat yourself on the back if you got it right. All right, so the, for the middle one, I'm going to choose to do the vertical um, method. Now, if you did a different method on this one than what I did, you should still have gotten the same answer. And here's the four terms that you should have gotten. So look to see where you went wrong. All right, so vertically, I am going to write out 7x plus 5 and right below it, 2x plus 9. So I am going to multiply this 9 through to the 5 and to the 7x. So 9 times 5 is a positive 45. And then 9 times 7x is a positive 63x. Then we're going to do our second distribution. So you take the next term, 2x, and you're going to multiply it to the 5. That gives us 10x. Well, 10x is going to line up with the 63x. So I'm going to put my 10x here. And then 2x times the 7x, 2 times 7 is 14. x times x is x squared. So I have 14x squared. It does not have a like term, so I'm going to give it its own column here. And I'm going to put a plus in front of that 10 because it was positive. And so then I'm going to draw my line and add down. So I get a 14x squared. And then I get a positive 73x. And then a positive 45. So look to see if you did it correctly or if you made an error somewhere. And then the last one, I'm going to use the Punnett square one of my more favorite methods. So I'm going to put the 4x here and be careful because this one has two different variables and a negative 3y. So we'll talk about how you write those. And I'm going to put the x here. The negative belongs to the 8y. So we put a negative 8y there. And so for our first multiplication, we're going to take this x and multiply it to the 4x. And that's going to give us a value here. So we get 4x squared. And then we're going to take this x and multiply it to the negative 3y because this, these two intersect, right? So we get an x times a y. You just write it as xy. Um, you could write it as yx, but we like to write things alphabetically in math so that we can identify like terms. So we've got a negative 3 times a positive 1, so that's where our negative 3 is going to come from. But then x times y is just going to be written as y. All right, so then our next distribution is going to be for this square. So this square is intersected by the negative 8y and the 4x. So negative 8 times 4 is negative 32. And then that x times y, write it alphabetically as xy. Then for this square, you're, going, you're intersected by the negative 8y and the negative 3y. So 8, negative 8 times negative 3 is going to give you a positive 24. And then y times y is y squared. 
So what are our like terms? Our like terms would be these two right here because they both have an xy attached to them. And so they're raised to the same power. So we don't have a like term to the 4x squared, so that gets brought down. I wanted that to be red. So 4x squared. And then um, our middle term, so we've got, these are like terms, so once you identify like terms, ignore the variables and just look at the coefficients. Negative 32 and negative 3. So that's going to give us a negative um, 35. So, and then our variable string is x, y. And then finally, we're going to have that 24y squared doesn't have a like term, so we just write it. And then this is our final answer. So good job if you got all three of those correct. Last slide. So for this slide, we are going to multiply a binomial that's been squared. And we have a hint here. So you might want to highlight this hint. It's kind of important. What does a plus b squared mean? So you might want to pause the video for a minute. And I want you to um, think about what is the answer to this. So based upon what we've just done, pause the video. Try to multiply this out and see if you get the correct answer. So I'll wait for you to pause it. Okay, so hopefully you should have started and, and tried this. One of the most common errors when you have a binomial squared is that you just take this x and square it and take the 3 and square it. And so a lot of kids will write x squared plus 9. But remember, what does a plus b squared mean? If x squared, and so I'm going to write this out down here, if x squared is equal to x times x, then a plus b squared must be a plus b times a plus b. So that means that x plus 3 squared really means that it is x plus 3 times x plus 3. So now if we employ one of those methods that um, we learned previously, so I'm just going to do this horizontally. I'm going to take this x and distribute it here. So I get x squared. And I'm going to distribute it here. And so I get 3x. And then I'm going to take um, the 3 and I'm going to multiply it here. So 3 times x is 3x. Its like term is right here. And then 3 times 3 is 9. So positive 9. So watch what happens when we add everything together. We get an x squared plus a 6x, which was missing from a lot of yours, plus the 9. So word of the wise, when you square a binomial, it has a middle term. 100% of the time, it has a middle term. So if all you do is square this and square this, you're going to be missing out on that 6x. So it is vitally important that you write it out and write it out because most of you will forget that. So based upon what we did here, I want you to rewrite this. So remember, 5x minus 3 squared means 5x minus 3 times 5x minus 3. So at this point, I want you to pause the video, and I want you to find the product of this. And I also want you to find the product of this one. And then restart the video once you have those and check your answers. Okay, so you should have done one of the three methods, and so I'm going to take, I want red, so I'm take the 5x and multiply it to 5x, so that gives us 25x squared, and then 5x times negative 3 is negative 15x. Then we're going to take and multiply this negative 3 all the way through. So negative 3 times 5x is another negative 15x, it lines up with its like term. Negative 3 times negative 3, watch your signs, that's a positive 9. Then we're going to draw your line and we're going to add straight down. So we get 25x squared. Two negatives, you're going to add and keep the sign. So 15 and 15 is 30. When you're adding two numbers with the same sign, you add and keep the sign. So we have a negative 30x plus 9. All right, and then this last one has two different variables, so be careful when you're multiplying those out. 
All right, so I'm going to multiply through this 2x all the way. So 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times 3y is 6xy. And then our last distribution, we're going to take and multiply the 3y to the 2x. So that's also 6xy. Make sure you're writing your variables alphabetically so you can recognize like terms. And then 3y times 3y is 9y squared. Draw your line and add down. So you get 4x squared plus 12xy plus 9y squared. And that's it. So if you have any questions, feel free to remind text us um, and we will help you as best as we can.